Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. RetroArch on Android just got some pretty huge updates. Let's get started. Alright, to kick things off, the RetroArch you've known and loved on Android has changed pretty significantly. The good news is that RetroArch is going to be updated about twice a week, possibly even more. This means that you'll have the latest and greatest versions of RetroArch and the cores inside, which is pretty awesome. And now the not so good news. This version of RetroArch will only support up to a maximum of 50 cores, so basically 50 different systems and this is due to the Google Play Store policies. Fortunately, the folks over at Libretro have a couple different solutions. The first one is to pick up RetroArch Plus, which is also free and also available on Google Play. RetroArch Plus will support up to 127 cores, which is a bit of a step up over 50, but there is a caveat you will need to be running at least Android version 8.0. If you don't have that, you can't get RetroArch Plus. For those of you who are curious, Android version 8.0 came out back in 2017. We're currently on Android 11. So to sum this up, if you're running an older version of Android, you're stuck with the regular RetroArch on the Google Play Store, and this is capped at 50 different cores, but it is updated twice a week. If you have a newer version of RetroArch, upgrade to RetroArch Plus and you get access to 127 cores. And this one is also updated twice a week. Now, if neither of those options are up to your standards, that's absolutely fine. There's a third option here, and this option should be suitable for pretty much everybody. This is the full-blown version of RetroArch, the one you know and love or maybe don't love, but at least the one you know. And this is available right on the RetroArch website. If you scroll down on the Downloads tab, you'll see the Android logo. From here, you can pick up the individual APK that you're looking for. Most devices nowadays will support the 64-bit version, so you can try out the 64 or 32-bit versions here. The 64-bit version is 77.9 megabytes. You can download this right on your phone, install it right from your phone, and you should be good to go, and you'll have access to all of the cores. But anyways, that is all I've got for today. You can probably expect an updated RetroArch on Android video coming pretty darn soon. Let me know in the comments below if there are any other emulators you want me to check out on this channel. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Thank you everyone, take care.